tēnā ki a tātou katoa te whanau, tēnei te mihi, manaki digital doers, and again we're online to do yet another video explainer to help you guys out in your journey and what you want to achieve in your business. So before we begin, if you're looking at e-commerce store comparisons, Swiftly, Rocket Spark, and Shopify. These are the three platforms that I have experimented with, and to be honest, they all have its individual use. And here's an example. So I run off Shopify. Now you would have seen my store online tile designs. It's well-rounded. The apps connected to it allow for me to do less and experience more. And what that means is that all the apps in the background that run in Shopify take away all the hard work that I need to do. And it scans and sifts software and it pulls together analytical data. But we'll get into that a little bit later on in this video. Right now, I'm going to be jumping into Swiftly to show you guys how that works. I'm going to give you guys the price update on how much it costs to run a store for the month and then the features that works well within its platform. Without further ado, whānau, no my heart my, let's get some music going for the morning and then let's jump straight into some price comparisons. Kapai. So let's close off our presentation and let's jump into our first e-commerce platform. <clears throat> what you guys are looking at <clears throat> is the back end of an e-commerce store. For those of you that have businesses or are running your own GitHub, you're going to be looking at digitizing what you do. And the reason is because of COVID. Post-COVID, vaccines, lockdowns, and all these new changes allow for us to create digital and to go digital. And the reason is because Stores are closed. Uh, the levels are unsure whether they're going to come back, whether they're going to go away. And so what you need to do now is focus for the future and pivot with digital technologies. So Swiftly is the first e-commerce store that I wanted to review for you guys. And the reason why I'm reviewing Swiftly is because it's really cheap. So if you look here, it's $20 per month. Now this is the cheapest of the three, and this is what it gives you. It gives you a homepage about who you are, you can list your products to sell. You can give them descriptions and then just post them and let people buy from the store. And in terms of uh, creating an order and adding your products and then having it online, like it's really user friendly, it's really easy. You guys could do this in like half an hour or less. And so that is our first one. If you wanna check out our store, that's what it looks like. It's really simple, it's really plain. But if I click through and go to the Kai Gatherers and I go cool, update order, it goes into your cart, you go check out, you can see that the flow is pretty, pretty quick. And it has all the information there for your customers to fill in. And then after they submit their order, that goes to your email and you send that out. So this is the first example of an e-commerce store. And if you guys run a business uh, and you don't have much money, I would recommend signing up to Swiftly, creating your store. And then just popping it online, just testing it, see what it, see what people think. Moving on, second store. So this one here is Rocket Spark. Now Rocket Spark is a New Zealand-owned business, and they create online stores for you. But they're very visual and they're very front-end heavy. And what that means is it's a drag-and-drop feature. It's a click and upload, or it's a click and link. And you don't really need to be the smartest e-commerce person or nerd to create a store uh, as beautiful as this it's all plug and play it's all linked together and it's all interactive well semi-interactive but what i've done here is i've created a store on rocket spark that gives information on what we do it breaks it down in depth and it gives you guys an insight into the business from there we've listed at the bottom here all of our different collections where you can click on it and it takes you to our e-commerce store on shopify so secondly my review of the rocket spark one i like the fact that it's made operated and run here in new zealand these guys that create these e-commerce platforms for us to make stores on have simplified all the hard work now i will say this this costs quite a bit of money to run on rocket spark I believe it is $80 a month. No, sorry, it could be less. But this is the tier two. So this one gives you uh, videos, it gives you a homepage, about page. It's like a full web design of e-commerce and a little bit of um, website building. And last but not least, 
the store that you guys have probably seen already www.tiledesigns.co.nz now i created this on shopify if you look at it and you go through it it's really tidy it's really nice and just on the front end there you can pay and buy you can get more descriptions of the product you can choose your sizes you can choose your quantities and we will have a um afterpay feature coming into the store as well as we keep redesigning and growing so Fano, that's my review and to run a shopify store it costs 129 new zealand dollars a month so this is the third tier of an e-commerce platform level three and if you guys are taking your e-commerce journey seriously and you wanted to create an online store for the business that you are running i would recommend shopify but also if you wanted to impact and outreach even further to partner that up with rocket spark so that you have two spaces one informational and two click and collect that way when people are like you know i don't feel engaged with your content how about i go to the explanational store and learn more about you guys and then i might want to buy something so those were the the key things that i took away from e-commerce this week and i wanted to show you guys just a little bit of the three uh different tiers of how you can make your store because you don't need to spend that much money and in actual fact the last one is facebook you can build a store within facebook it just takes time so thank you Fana, for coming on in and tuning into this video once again Manaki Digital Do is breaking down the e-commerce strategies of how much a store costs and what kind of stores can be created out there in the digital world on this digital platform. Noho ora mai whanau. Looking forward to seeing you guys again soon in the next video. Stay hungry, stay active. Mauri ora.